Yeah, man. I'm here to say, one peace and love, peace and love. I want to send out nothing but love to each and every one. One love to every single person right now that literally tune into this at this moment. And I want to say peace, love, wealth, and health to you and your family. So today, before I go anywhere, I'm just letting you know that I'm standing on the First Amendment, which is freedom of speech, because this topic that I'm going to touch has to do with people that are either resident or citizen of the United States, all parties that are involved in this situation. And the only reason why I'm here having any say into this topic right now, because the parties that are involved in this situation at this moment literally brought it to the public by putting it on the social media. So let's move straight to the point and touch on what I'm touching on. This topic that I'm touching on has to do with the entertainer known as, formerly known as, I don't know, if still known as Cargo, otherwise known called Makaska. Or Makaska. Please forgive me. I'm not trying to butcher your name or anything because I'm not a butcher. I don't do those type of stuff. You get that? Straight up. And the producer, well-known producer by the name of Flavor McGregor. Anyway, Flavor McGregor. Anyway, I'm just giving my opinion. As I say, freedom of speech. I'm in the United States. I got the right to speak on things without being held or sued by anybody that loved it. I'm going to sue you. Anyway, let me get to the topic. No point intended on that specific speech. So... The topic that I'm touching on is based on the fact that you got two individuals that comes together and basically form a contract. Whatever the contract percentage are, are details, I'm, that's not my responsibility. I'm just giving you the overall general, my general, what I think generally of this situation. So basically, you got one person that own a record label and basically is responsible to distribute the music, promote the music, and put the music on a platform where the music can be sold for people to buy it. That's your responsibility. Then you got another party over here. Your responsibility is either to go to the studio, record the vocal, make the project, so the person can release it. So anyway, the, the person over here, which is Cargo, basically... Made the music. I don't know what happened, how he made the music. He can deal with that part and speak. I'm just giving you an example. He made the music whether or not he used production from Flavor McGregor or he went outside of Flavor McGregor record label and find his own independent producers that is literally going to give our composers that is going to give him the instrumentals for him to create the album. He brought the album to you. So there are several parties that are involved in making this album, basically. So now your responsibility in the contract as the label's CEO and A&R promoter, everything in one, because I guess you're a one-man label, is your responsibility is basically to package this music and distribute it. At any given point, you fail to uphold your end of the bargain of your contract. You literally... That's a breach of contract. So basically, the moment you decided that personally you have an issue with this man because you think he's a murderer, he's a raper, he's a whatever your opinion or your assumption is, the moment that you refused to basically put out the music, keep the music on all major media platforms, you already breach a contract because that's your only responsibility as a record label is to put the music out. So basically, the contract is null and void that moment. Second of all, now, let me touch another topic. This is like building a house. Mr. Cargo or Makaska over here is literally entitled to 40% of the house that you're building or the building. So basically, he did his part to basically contribute. So you decide that you're going to give him 40, 50, any amount of percentage. You over here know basically you are the person that is going to make the building work. You're going to fund this and fund that. You own 60, 70, any amount of percentage. I don't know. That's your business. I don't know the percentage of it work out. So you over here know that is the person that is in charge, the label, the management, whatever of this project, decided that, hey, I don't like what you're doing. I'm going to burn it. You are responsible for damaging products that not only belongs to you, but are also property of another person. So whatever percentage that is owed to this person by you burning these projects, you owe this person automatically. This person can sue you for that because the project that you burn is not 100% owned by you. There's people that have certain legal rights to gain from that project. So you already breached a contract again, my brother. 
And then second of all, promotion and basically putting it up on a media platform, you pull it down, you breach your contract again. So basically, by law, you are not supposed to have any contract with this individual because you failed to reach your end uh, your um end of the deal. You but you failed to hold on to what you bargain for or uh, bargain with this person to do as far as musically because he brought the album to you so he did his job you failed to do your job as a label and as a man distributor whatever you want to roll you are playing that's the point that i'm making and the sad part about it is this is your fellow jamaican brother so even if you want him to suck man it now work out and you are burn him whatever allegation or whatever facts you have against him if you don't, then make him go on him way. And if you feel like him own you, him a put out album. Make him put out the album them. Then you go a quote that you sue him and if the judge say him own you and you sue him, that means if him can't pay and him spend off the money, whatever um, proceeds come off his album so, um, sale, if your lawyer is smart enough, they can let that start going straight to you because you have a court order saying this man have to pay you. And he has to. He can't collect no money unless he pay you. So if you want to take down and write this a place and that the place or this place or that place for people that don't understand Patwa, to basically take up the music of all musical platform, that means that's a personal vendetta. You're not only stopping food from his mouth and his children's mouth, you're stopping food from your children's mouth too. And as a well-known producer, you're not look good out there saying them cat and, and dog fight your brother. Because if Beyonce want to work with you or if Usher want to work with you or any big celebrities and them go run your file and see this go on, brother, you're not going to get no contract with nobody. And right now, me, you make a talk against VP and that's none of my business, but my brother, I'm going to be honest with you. You are more worse than VP right now, my dad. I keep it real with you because the things that you say about VP and what you are doing right now to the man, it's not right, brother. It's not right. So let me get off it because I don't want to make it one-sided. But the reason why I'm touching the topic, I'm only touching the topic based off the contract that was formed between both parties. And as I said to you before, Cargo Over Your Makaska literally brought a album and music to the producer. I don't know what rights he have, if he remixed it or if he played any instrument. I don't know anything about that. But what I'm saying to you is the artist done his part as a producer, as a label owner, as whatever role you play. But you own the label. It's your responsibility to put out the music. It's your responsibility to make the music available to anybody that want to purchase it. It's your responsibility to promote the music for any amount of time and do all these things within two years. You have failed you have failed to do it. So basically that two-year contract, it, it doesn't exist. It's null and void. And the fact that you and the artists came together to make this project possible, and because you own the label, you burn the project, that's simply meaning that the artist is in, tight, is in the right to sue you for destroying property not only belongs to you, but belongs to him at the moment. And I'm not saying the, pro the property belongs to you, but what I know about music, if you're going to give a person an um, album to release under their record label, basically you have to give them the copyrights to the album. They have to own the rights to the album. Publishing is something that is split between you and the person. Point blank. That's what I know about music. So even if he gives you the copyright to the music, he has... Be, um, benefits that's going to come from it basically if you sell it he has publishing you and him have a contract a deal whatever points he's going to get off the album whatever percentage he's going to get off the publishing and you literally burnt it so that's simply meaning that's pretty much a crime because you destroy a property that is legally basically is split between more than one person and because of your reason to basically burn these albums because you feel as if that you personally don't want to do business with this person because of whatever personal thing that you find out about this person whether they committed any form of crime that doesn't make it right for you to destroy a property that's simply meaning that it's like you and this person building a building together and this person have 40% in the building and you got 60% in the building. And because you don't no longer want to do business or you got some personal thing against, um, against this person, you burn the building down. Guess what? You got to pay that person for the 40% that they own in the building. You don't have to get paid for your 60%, but you burned a building that doesn't belongs to you only. 
And my brother, my only advice to you is, you are a Jamaican, he's a Jamaican. Both of y'all are coming from humble beginnings. Meaning that y'all trying to make the best out of life to, sh um, to save something and give something back to your children and your family. So if you need a Jamaican brother to try something in your life and you want him have a problem and him owe your money. And him still a try if he make something for himself. Instead of coming and him owe your brother and not do that. Better you wait till him sell him album them and basically go a quote and sue him and make the quote give you your money back. That would have made more sense. So he have something that is generating financial income and basically you can say, well, you might not have the money right now for pay me, but every album you sell, you sell because me sue you, you have to give me a certain percentage. That's going to be the settlement. But brother, if you come out and I do this now, it don't make no sense. You look personally, you ask a man say, hey, you can't release the album without me till in two years. That makes no sense, brother. You failed to reach your part of the deal. You are a record label that was supposed to distribute and promote this man in two years in a contract. And you personally, because of your own reason, burn all of the CDs, take down all the music offline, and basically tell this man that, you know, I do nothing. Basically, you breached your contract. You, you was the first person to breach your contract because he brought the music to you and you failed to meet your end of the deal. You couldn't do it. You never have the, the mind strength. You, you, you wasn't strong enough to look past your feelings to realize that business and personal things do, do, don't mix. Does not mix. It no mix at all. That's what we said in Jamaica. So basically, you got upset when you said this man molested somebody, this man did something, whatever, and you went and make a choice and brought that personal situation into a business. You're wrong, brother. Me, I tell you, say you're wrong. Legally, you do not have no case yourself. And if you smart, you stop the way you are doing. Because I'm going to tell you, you breached your contract a long time. Listen to the video again, me tell you all. Anyway, I'm not here for bash you. Personally, I think you need to check yourself, brother. And I'm, this, I'm just telling you personally, this is nothing like, I don't know cargo, I don't know you personally, but we all Jamaicans and I one love me I deal with. Me is a vegan slash italist, you know what I say? So anywhere there is beef between my fellow Jamaican, I bring vegetable. So we all can live in love. You understand? I don't know cargo and this is just a message. This is freedom of speech. And I'm bringing love on the table. But me I beg on a brother. Just work it out. And to you Mr. McGregor. Be the bigger person. There's no contract exists anymore. You breach a contract. Because you, were, you failed to hold up to your end of the bargain. Okay. So one love. Let the youth go. Make the man release him album brother. Deal with love man. Yes, see I love and I got you deal with. Show the God in you. More love. Yeah man. Big up on yourself though. You see me. Me no know no now you know. A freedom of speech me say. America. United States me there. One love. Everybody loving one another. Me out. Me have to go deal with my business.